If you look at the website of the State of Florida Department of Education, you will see instructions about what high school students are to be taught about science. One phrase that talks about the evidence for evolution suggests that students should be taught a number of evidences for evolution, which include comparative anatomy, comparative embryology, molecular biology, and observed evolutionary change. Let's look at one of those for the moment, comparative anatomy. This idea, also known as homology, is the concept that many organisms have similar features. For example, you can see on the front legs of a frog that it has five digits webbed together. You can see similar structures on many other animals, including the five fingers on the human hand. These similarities in structure are then given by the evolutionists as evidence that they must have a common ancestor. Now actually, it's very easy to argue against this because this is actually an illogical method of arguing. It doesn't actually make a great deal of sense. It's a bit like this. This would be a logical argument. Supposing I said that um, all people with beards were men, Jim has a beard, therefore Jim is a man. That is a logical progression of arguments. However, suppose I said this, all people who have beards are men, Jim is a man, therefore Jim has a beard. That would not be logical. It would be a fall fallacy known as the affirmation of the consequent, because of course there are many men who do not have beards. Now in the same way, if, and this is a big if, uh, if the theory of evolution were true, which I don't happen to believe, but if it were true, then it would be the case that you would expect many organisms to have similar structures. That would be logical. But you cannot say that because many organisms have similar structures that the theory of evolution is true because there could be other explanations why organisms have similar structures. And indeed, there is one very obvious one. Just as many models of cars of different types might have certain similarities in appearance if they are made by the same automobile company, in the same way, it is very likely that the similar structures in different organisms are there because they have a common designer, that designer being God. And that would be just as logical as the idea that they could have a common ancestor. So you see, it's our starting point that matters. Now, of course, the starting point that God has made all those organisms is the true starting point. And therefore, it's not just logical, it's also true but I want to show you that the idea that comparative anatomy uh, does not prove evolution, doesn't even require us to think about the truth and error of evolution itself. We see that the argument itself is illogical and therefore to teach that as an evidence for evolution in a high school is simply not correct.